Hello and welcome to the next power review summary of No Pineapple Left Behind. This is a game by Subaltum Games um, and can be best described as sort of like a budgety Unity personal version of No, uh, what was it called? Prison Architect. Um, so straight away that's going to raise a couple of issues and some non-issues in that Prison Architect is one of those simulator games, quite simplistic, very complex, um, uh, quite micromanagement in the way that the game plays and no pineapple left behind is quite similar to this um, very very little micromanagement to do whatsoever um, it's all about individual students and teachers or whatever um, with a game that's developed based around a highly satirical representation of the education system um, in America so the game is quite repetitive at its core. A lot of the stuff that you'll be doing once you've learned it early on throughout some of the tutorial levels, you will be doing a lot of the same stuff over and over again. Now, some of it is kind of interesting and quite amusing, but once you've done it sort of, you know, for the 50th time in some of the later levels, um, it does get a little bit mildly boring um, and repetitive, such as employing a new teacher every day, lowering their um, salary and, and getting them all to teach the same lesson or cast the same spell or whatever so it does get quite repetitive but there are tools in the game um to sort of set that repet repetition at ease so there is like a little menu so that you can set every teacher's salary to a certain amount set every teacher's um spell to a certain amount so it is quite repetitive overall but there are tools in place to sort of keep you from getting too bored in that regard um by all means this is probably the most unique game i've ever played simply because it's so bizarre um, and just insane, basically. It's one of the most weird games I have ever played um, or described to people. And the weird thing about this game is every time I talk to someone about it, they always end up like wishing that they could play it or saying how funny it is or just rolling around in tears in general. Um, so it is. it does have a really awesome premise. The sound of the game is excellent. The whole stuff with the pineapples and the pause menu little tips that you get uh, the name of everything and the way that everything's done it just it is very funny and uh, like one of the key parts of this game is the humor um i think it's quite a dry very british style sense of humor um and the thing is if you don't sort of click with the type of humor that's in this game then you're probably not going to enjoy yourself the whole way around because that is that is a core piece of the entertainment in this title so if you're not going to get on with that probably look into prison architect or something of that ilk um the other thing is it's just one of the most ridiculous games ever um and despite the fact that it is designed to be satirical it is actually relatively good a good representation of how the education system works you might find it quite challenging at times it is quite a challenging game some of the levels are pretty brutal um, and they give you a lot of tiny little things to manage all at once um but it is a relatively true representation of schools in that you're being told to make money, but fundamentally a school is not something that can make money. It's just not possible. Um, and so you're challenged in that regard to have a certain amount of money, not fail, get all these phone calls from parents, which are highly unreasonable, and all, just all of these ridiculous things that you have to deal with. Um, and then there's this sort of side factor that, you know, if everything were just a pineapple, everything would be fine. Um, as I said at the start, very repetitive and it's very niche genre. I feel like this game is there's there's not really many people that get on with these sort of mic micromanagement simulators. And so I think that it's only going to appeal to a very niche market. It didn't personally appeal to me. It's not the kind of game I would find myself jumping into. It's not a go-to game for me, but that's just because I'm not into those sorts of games. So I think that this game has sort of narrowed itself down to quite a a very small market of people that would potentially be interested in it i mean if you do like prison architect and you're looking for something a little bit more simple um i mean it's, it's a pretty solid game all the mechanics are solid there's there's no bugs no weird niggles anywhere um so it is kind of like prison architect but a whole lot easier um so for those sorts of people that are looking for something a little bit more light-hearted then yeah by all means, those people will probably be quite interested. Um, the other things I had issues with is, because I'm on 4K, I didn't actually notice this until I was doing my benchmarks on 1080p, is that the UI gets quite cluttered. Now, on 4K, everything's sort of made smaller on uh, my 24-inch screen, um, so I have a whole lot more real estate. So the UI didn't seem to bother me at all. I could have a few things up and I could still see around them. Whereas on 1080p and resolutions below that, just clicking on a student would fill up like a good two-thirds of the screen. So that can be a little bit annoying if you're clicking on a student and you're trying to figure out where he is um, on the screen by sort of clicking their name, and it's quite difficult. So that the UI sort of needs some 
weird little overhaul. Um, and the other thing is, because of the type of humor of this game, not everyone's gonna not everyone's gonna get on with it necessarily. So there are there are quite a lot of road bumps to where if you don't get over one of them, it's probably not worth the time playing. Um, as I said, this has got a really niche market, and I'm not part of that niche market. I didn't particularly find it massively entertaining. It was funny and it was great to talk about, um, but overall I didn't personally find it massively entertaining for my gaming sorts of needs, um, but I'm sure a lot of other people will. And it's just it's just finding that niche market. And I do hope a lot of people discover the game and do find it interesting because it is, it is funny, it is pretty cool, and it is by far one of the most unique concepts I've ever seen. It's just not my personal sort of game, but objectively I can imagine there's probably a fair few people that would enjoy it. Um, so that's it for this game. Um, it's not a massively long game and this isn't a massively long review. Um, but yeah, c come and join us on next Thursday. I think we've got a review going for Super Hot. Um, I think I ran a review of the prototype a couple of months back, maybe last year. Uh, and of course, on this Saturday for our next week in gaming. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and we'll see you guys next time.